I'm Adam Goldfein. Thank you so much for joining me. Our phone lines are open at 404-872-0750. I'm in studio live with Jennifer Ammons, who is the general counsel of the Department of Driver Services, and Bubba Head, who is one of the leading criminal defense attorneys, as Harvey uh, correctly uh, pointed out, right? Both of you, thank you so much for coming. Jennifer and Bubba, I really appreciate you spending the afternoon with me. It's a thrill for me because I get to get inside, right? And it forces me to learn about things that, you know, all right, there's a lot more to this. Uh, let's go down some examples of ways your license can become suspended without an actual motor vehicle event. Jennifer, there are two or three that you could think of off the top of your head. Sure. First one would be uh, for unpaid child support. Um, anyone, the non-custodial parent who isn't meeting their child support obligation, if uh, that is reported to the Department of Driver Services. There is a license suspension associated with that. So if I'm if I don't pay my child support, say I'm eight months, ten months behind, you're saying that I could lose my privilege to drive. That's correct. It's amazing, Bubba. How can you mention the not appearing right as you're not required? Not appearing, and then there are many penalties for students who drop out of school, don't show up for school, have bad behavior at school. So people in high school could lose their right to drive for something that happens at school, nothing on the roadway. Yeah, you have, what is it, um, bringing drugs or uh, alcohol, right, to school? Trying to buy alcohol, that's another way they could lose it. Right, weapons, th th or they hurt somebody, that's another way. Violence toward a teacher at school, all kind of things are listed, so there are many ways you can lose it, and you mentioned earlier before the break, simply possessing marijuana or other drugs, you could be... Uh, standing in a flea market, and if I don't you think, get caught for that, you lose your right to drive. Yeah, I don't think people realize that. Like, you have a lot of people, they're going to be listening to the show going, look, I drive fine, that's fine. If a cop arrests you uh, for a controlled substance, including marijuana, you could lose your right to drive. That's true. And it has nothing to do with the fact that you weren't behind the wheel at the time. You don't have to be behind the wheel, but you better get a good attorney to find a way to keep that ability to drive because most people can't work without driving, can't transport their kids without driving. Well, we're going to talk about those exceptions, and possibly let's also talk about whether hardship plays into this as well. If you've got a question about your privilege, not your right, your privilege to drive, now is the time. Pick up the phone. 404-872-0750. I'm Adam Goldfein. You're listening to News Talk at WSB.